Well, Landmark's very proud to be partnering with, with BRE. Uh, we share a lot of similar uh, interests and principles, like the, the cutting edge principles in, in terms of bringing positive change to the building industry. Um, we've specifically targeted BIM prospects, um, largely because we share Reba's view that it, there's, there's a move to a more digital data driven industry um, that's more dynamic, it's more collaborative, it's stronger and leaner. Uh, and what we want to do is show where the um, spatial information market is now and how it's addressing the moves with that. And also to bring some uh, ideas around sort of big data management to the forum. The data that goes into BIM is the linchpin to its success. So the two are mutually beneficial in, in our opinion. Um, what BIM has done is it's taken us to, well, it's taken us from um, a list of construction considerations right to full life cycle management of a building. Um, and what that's pushed us to do as data providers is to up our game in terms of providing more reliable and accurate data and push our suppliers um, to develop and create new products to bring to the market to help this. And uh, where mapping and, and land use has, has benefited is from a need to contextualise and visualise where a building will be in its unique location and the impact uh, upon its surroundings. Now the other thing that mapping and data brings is actually at the early stage of the design process uh, it highlights some of the key elements that um, will help a building be sustainable in the long term. Um, so ultimately the key benefit really is taking the building um, from, from its page, um, putting it in its real life context, bringing it to life uh, and, uh, and that's all before the ground's been broken. Now, unquestionably there's been more and more queries around BIM. Um, we're often asked about the uh, sort of reliability and currency and accuracy of our data. I mean, people need to be sure that they're using reliable, accurate, licensed data that they're, com they're compliant um, to drive their, their, their projects forward. The other question um, we were asked more about is about the format and the output of our data. And that's largely because our sector has grasped that in order for collaboration to be successful, uh, all the data that the partners use needs to be speaking to each other in the same language, re regardless of what software uh, or technology that's developed upon. And what we want to bring to conference is, is to show how reliable and accurate data can be accessed quickly and efficiently uh, and actually taking the time and some of the pain out of that so our client base can focus on bringing their expertise to building and designing um, new buildings. The key aspect really is about information management and how the sector will handle the challenges of, of, of managing big data. As BIM moves forward there is a, a sort of wider demand for, for new data sets to come in and more data sets. And that piques the interest of not just the designers and the builders, but also um, the, the future owners, the occupiers and the asset managers of the building. And as more and more stakeholders come into play, there's more and more need to access the data and, and view it. So what, the, what the, the sector needs to get hold of is how it brings in um, common data environments and online hubs to share that data, both um, making it accessible and secure at the same time, but also giving them the opportunity to manage the data, keeping it current and following BIM protocols. We think this level of collaboration will take the, this industry a step further uh, and actually will, will benefit people from getting the most out of the data that they use.